Look, the reality is problems come in all shapes and sizes and even the goofiest problems have solutions. And in today's video, what I want to do is share with you a one product Shopify store that does about $40 million per year solving a pretty interesting problem that you may have not thought about or maybe you have thought about it. The problem that we're talking about is sustainably cleaning up when you go to the bathroom. So what do I mean by this? I'm not trying to get too graphic here because I know we got people of all ages, but the brand that I'm talking about here is called Tushy. And what they do is they sell a bidet. So what a bidet does is it basically washes your butt without you having to use toilet paper, which surprisingly has a lot of benefits. So one of them being that you actually get cleaner and the other one being that it saves a lot of waste. So huge problems to solve right and everybody has to go to the bathroom so it's a great idea now let me show you the bidet search trend and how much this got popular during the pandemic and then it obviously died down significantly but it's continuously trending up so what this tells me is that we can expect this trend to reach a very high level again over time so it's a great opportunity for businesses to get involved in right and again I always give you ideas so that you can take them and then go your own way with them. So for example, on Alibaba, if we look up bidet, we can see so many different bidet related products. I mean, some of these things are totally different than what Tushy does, which is great, right? Because you want to be original, but still within that same realm or that same niche, right? Now, Tushy in particular is driving a ton of traffic. So this would be very tough competition, but if you can take this and go a different angle or honestly sometimes competition is not a bad thing because it shows you what people are doing right and you can start doing that as well so as you see in december they drove nearly 600,000 monthly visitors which is a lot and as you see they've been featured on a lot of different publications and they have a beautiful landing page so this is one thing you got to note down all of my videos i'm telling you guys you should definitely be keeping in mind how these stores are branding their products and their websites, their Shopify stores, because ultimately they're spending millions upon millions designing these stores and we're getting to look at them and analyze them for free, which is really wild. Now, if you wanna know how you could create something similar to this, there's two ways on Shopify. One is just using the sense theme. It's a free theme that you can use that you can customize and make look this way. Otherwise, my team and I did create a product called the Shopify Brand Starter Kit that basically gives you a highly optimized template that is working right now. We're using it on a challenge store and it also comes with a lot of course content so that you actually know how to use the template to build your business and a bunch of other really cool content. It's actually on sale right now for 20 bucks. So take advantage of it while that lasts. You can get an extended $1 a month for three month Shopify plan. You can also get that with the link in the description if you don't care about the template. But the reason I'm mentioning these things is because there's never been a better time to start a business on a budget. And I think there's so many potential business opportunities that you could get involved in. And all you really have to do is get into a frame of mind where you're thinking about problems in the world and solving problems, which is actually the beautiful thing about business is that ultimately the best businesses are the ones that solve the biggest problems for humanity and that delight people. So it's actually pretty cool. It's a great career path, even if it just starts out as a side hustle, you know, just solving a small problem, making you a little bit of side income. That's a great place to start. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of fun building businesses. That's part of the reason why I started this YouTube channel in the first place. It's just a lot of fun to build things. Now, I actually read on an article by ClearCo, which is a funding company that Tushy grossed 40 million in revenue in the year 2022, or actually that was 2021. I'm pretty sure that they grew in 2022. So it's probably higher than that, but we're gonna keep it fairly conservative. What's really interesting though, is how much this product costs. It's actually a really good average order value. So as you see, for one bidet, it's $99, right? For two bidets, $169. For one bidet plus stool, $164. So not cheap, right? Not cheap products by any means. But if we take a look at the Alibaba suppliers here that we can find pretty easily, we can see that a lot of these go for, you know, $10 to $20, even if you order a small quantity. So I'm guessing they're making really good profit margins on this product. Now, the landing page again, is just absolutely beautiful. I love this animation, that just looks so good. And 
it's very well laid out. It kind of looks like the Shopify brand kit template that we use, except just 10 times better, obviously, because they have some professional images. They have some custom coded animations. It's beautiful. I mean, there's not much we can say negatively about this brand and its design. But again, it has the frequently asked questions. So it has all the conversion rate optimization things that you need. It's fast. And then they link all their social media, which is pretty cool. Now, again, a brand like this has grown so significantly, which means that they're doing every single marketing thing you could possibly imagine. Ads, posting organically, influencer relationships, blog articles, everything. But if you were just starting, I would just recommend to order your product, use it and start posting on TikTok. <laughs> if you have not a lot of money to start your business, that's probably the best approach you could possibly take because guess what? You can repost that TikTok content on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, even Twitter nowadays, and even Pinterest, and even Snapchat Spotlight. So there's so many different places where you can allocate just one piece of content and go viral on multiple platforms. It's super powerful. Otherwise, you can start running Facebook ads or TikTok ads or Google ads or all the above. My favorite right now is meta ads because honestly, they're kind of undervalued again. Meta ads are powerful. It's a really great advertising platform and it kind of allows you to semi-passively grow your business. Obviously, you have to put in a lot of work still to manage your ads, but it's not as time intensive as creating TikToks and creating organic content every day. But both work, and if you do both at the same time, that's super powerful. So that's really an entire template right there that you can follow to build your business with a great idea here that we just broke down. And honestly, there's so many great things about this product page. For example, the uh, swatches. I love the swatches. That's a very, very cool feature. And then, you know, just the little bit of product details right at the very front. Let's actually quickly look at this in mobile view because this is the most important thing in website design. And this is actually a trend I've been seeing a lot lately is brands putting the title at the very top of the product page on mobile. So the title is right at the top and then people can add to cart right away before even looking at the options, before even scrolling down, they can just add to cart right away. This is huge for conversion rate optimization because if they have to scroll down a lot, then guess what? They're gonna get bored and they're gonna leave. People have a very short attention span. So keep that in mind and yeah, let's actually look. One last thing I want to look is the font that they're using. So they're using Sophia Pro and Sans Serif for the body, which is a default Shopify font. Pretty cool. Anyways, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to share this with you. I thought it was a really interesting store that I've actually never done a case study on. I believe maybe I have actually I've done so many case studies. It's pretty unbelievable, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something from it. I'm definitely keeping a lot of things in my mind, compartmentalizing it and hoping it'll be useful in the future. But with that said, that's about it. See you in the next video. Peace.